cracks. We know the cause, often relatively easy to stop. I was in a plant uh, two weeks ago where intermittent cracks kept occurring and, and uh, disappearing. When we checked, the casting was always cracked, but it was not on the surface. It was inside the casting, and it was a hot crack. We'll go through those. Cracks are one of the easiest things to fix and one of the most annoying. So you've got hot cracks sitting here, usually in the middle of a, uh, a place where the heat is coming from both directions, called converging heat flow. And these are usually hot cracks, and I'll show you those in a minute. Cracks or tears or hot cracks have many causes, but usually are at least partially caused by shrinkage cracks on the surface. If you imagine that area in the previous slide here, this is all frozen, but this part is, it looks frozen, but it's not. It's part of this rice grains in honey. As soon as you put the, this starts to shrink in both directions, it opens up a crack. Most often the casting is stretched in the dye as it cools because the dye doesn't change dimensions, steel is strong. While the casting is cooling and contracting, the stretching causes cracks at the weakest point. In the last place to solidify where the aluminum or zinc hasn't totally frozen or where it is still very, very weak. So it is hot cracks are a localized thermal effect and it can be local. Solidification cracks on the surface occur during solidification, have a dark surface. So when you break it open, you often see dark marks on the surface. Or it can look like this on the right, where you have a number of little shrinkage cracks on the surface. And uh, uh, for castings, the crack while cooling in the dye, the crack will also be a hot spot, but it will not have a light surface increase radii. If we look at a typical hot crack, it looks like that. They're usually not long, but they're wide, the distance between the two faces. And if you cut it and uh, polish it, you see that. So again, the crack is, is not deep, but it is wide on the surface. That means it, it cracked while it was hot. So that means this area is most probably a hot area. And if it's hot, cool it. If it's cold, warm it. Uh, mechanical stresses can cool crash while the die opens or the casting ejects. These are usually uh, sharp cracks. Cracks at the base of long cores or fins, dragging or sticking of projections into one die half may indicate die shift when the die separate. The factors in die alignment should be checked, such as die droop. Saw that four weeks ago. As the die opened, it dropped slightly. Worn guide pins, worn linkage, worn tie bar bushings, worn shoes, and even tie bar stresses. But the most common is that the casting is in the die too long. To purchase access to this course, visit the NADCA Marketplace at www.diecasting.org slash store. Purchasing a course through the online education system grants you one year of access to the recording, presentation, support material, and test when applicable. NADCA Video News and Information is brought to you by the following sponsors.